Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I am going to be doing a thrift haul and styling everything that I've thrifted in the last like month or so. So usually I will start off my thrift haul videos by picking out some vinyl to display on the wall behind me. But obviously we have taken down everything from this wall including the little shelf I used to have here. So I still want to show you guys what vinyls I would have on the wall behind me and you guys will just have to imagine that they're on the wall behind me the whole time. <laughs> First vinyl I would pick is Sawayama by Rena Sawayama. Um, she is incredibly underrated. I love her music so much. This album is incredible. And like not to flex on you guys or anything, but I also have this in the limited edition gold version. Like look at that color. Oh my God. The other two albums I picked for a very specific reason and you guys will see why later on in the video, but I'm going with Corn by Corn, their self-titled debut album, incredible album. And then probably Tool's Magnum Opus, which is Lateralis or Lateralis, however you want to pronounce it. All of this stuff. So expensive but this album is absolutely worth it it is a triple lp and i am obsessed with tool right now i feel like i have um a significantly less amount of clothes than i usually do which is honestly it's either good or bad because it either shows that i've shown restraint this month um or it means that the thrift stores aren't hitting as well as they usually do so yeah some of these clothes you also wouldn't have seen because i haven't uh filmed when i found them and i've also included some stuff that i actually purchased retail. I usually don't buy anything from like fast fashion or retail stores, but sometimes I'll see something where I'm like, I actually will wear that non-stop and it will become like a staple piece for me. Or sometimes they have stuff that I just don't really think that you can thrift. Um, that I just kind of need for my daily life. So maybe I'll start with the items that I didn't thrift. So then I'll keep the like thrifted items last. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I'll show you guys is this corn shirt. And this is why I picked their self-titled album on vinyl. This shirt is absolutely perfect. It's just like a nice heavyweight cotton material. And because it's that really oversized fit, I end up wearing this literally everywhere because it's just so comfortable. Anyway, I'm gonna style this now. Um, I think I'm gonna go with one of my classic go-to outfits. Okay, so this is the outfit. I've got my big bag on. I've got this velvet tiered long skirt and I've got my black boots on. I feel with this outfit, it's just gonna be super comfortable and casual. The next band shirt that I got was this tool one. I didn't have any tool merchandise. Uh, so so I was really fiending for like an actual tool shirt and this is legit licensed merch. It came with like a tag and everything that hurt me to have to take off. The front is really cool and I love the graphic on it, but honestly the back is like incredible, stunning, beautiful, amazing. Okay, this is how I styled the shirt. So because it's got the purple and like multicolors on it, I figured I would just go with plain black for everything else, like this black skirt, um, these tights that have crosses on them. Um, if you listen to Tool or Perfect Circle, you know that Maynard James Keenan has some very interesting takes on religion. So I figured that the cross fishnets would work with that. And then I've got the same black boots on as well. I would also probably wear my plain black mesh top underneath this. Uh, it was a bit colder, but that is in the wash right now, so I can't wear it. <laughs> okay, this is the last band related top I will show you, but it's this Nirvana like knitted sweater. And I don't really have many like just easy to throw on jumpers. I did get it from H&M, which pains me because I hate H&M, but I literally was out in the city with my friend and it was freezing that day and I don't think I had a jacket. So I literally bought this and wore it that day. <laughs> um, and now I have worn it like 50 more times. I've only had it for a few weeks. I'm getting my money's worth for this so yeah i'm gonna pair this with um the last like retail item that i bought so for the longest time i've been trying so hard to thrift some flared leggings like these so yeah i went into cotton on and they had these okay this is literally the most basic outfit ever like i've just put on the leggings and my Doc Martens, and honestly, this is a totally fine outfit. Like, I would go outside, run errands. Okay, to jazz it up a little bit more, I've added this leather jacket, my red bag that always falls off my fucking shoulder. I've also added my scarf, my go-to sunglasses, and a little sneak peek for something else that I thrifted, but these red ballet flats, I love them so much and so comfortable. I think this outfit is really cute, and I would definitely wear it when it's like really cold outside, but I'm not gonna lie. I absolutely hate wearing multiple layers. So if I had to wear a shirt underneath this one, this jumper, this jacket, and this scarf, I would probably want to claw my skin off. So um, it's very cute for now. And I would recommend you guys who aren't scared of layering to wear something like this for summer. For summer? No, for winter. <laughs> but me personally, I would be taking the scarf off and the jacket off immediately. But anyway, for the sake of the video, let's just say that I will be wearing this in the winter months to come. <laughs> 
So since I just wore these in the last outfit, I guess I will show you guys these shoes that I got. They are these perfect red ballet flats. Now I know that ballet flats are kind of trending and I was very much like rejecting that because they just seem so flat and I was like, how is everyone walking around for hours and hours on end? wearing these like super flat um, basic shoes. But then I found this pair and they are literally so uh, Let me try that again. I love the giant like buckle detail that they have on them. And this dark red is my favorite red ever. I think this is perfect. And I didn't even realize this, but I actually have a bag that like perfectly matches these shoes. Come on, they are made for each other. Are you serious? I'm gonna have to style. Um, a whole outfit based around these two matching items here. <laughs> okay, this next item I require your guys' opinion on because I'm not sure if I want to keep it or if I'm gonna resell it just because I bought it and I was like, this is so cute, I absolutely love it, but now that I'm looking at it and I've put it on, I'm like, I don't know if I would wear it. So it's this like really long knitted cardigan that has this purple fur trim on it. I think if it was all dark purple, I would probably wear it more, but because it's got the pink through it, I don't really know how to style this, so I'm gonna have to give it a go. Also, let me know in the comments if you guys want this, because if I get a bunch of comments of people being like, I wanna buy it, then I'll put it up on my default. Okay, how are we feeling about this? Because I really cannot tell if I like this or not. I think maybe it looks a little too like grandma-esque um, instead of it looking like cool 90s, but maybe that's just because I'm wearing it. I feel like someone else who has a cooler like 90s sort of eclectic style would be able to style this a little bit better than me but right now I don't think this is really working for me. I've also paired it with these really big platform heels because I feel like I need something to balance uh, how much of a statement piece this is so I figured I would go with these big clunky shoes. Maybe it's cute and I'm just not looking at it right but I don't think that this really suits my style as much as I would like it to so this might be up on my Depop which will be linked in the description. Okay so the next item I've also been struggling a little bit to style properly just because it is a little bit out of my comfort zone and I haven't really owned a piece like this before but I went thrifting with my mom and uh, randomly came across this perfect black boiler suit it fits me so perfectly and I didn't even try it on when I bought it I was just like fuck it I'm just gonna buy it it's from this brand called Lucy and Yak which sounds really familiar I think that their jumpsuits and boiler suits and stuff go for like over $100 and I got this for $20. So I think it's a pretty good deal. I might try to kind of dress it up a little bit today though and see what I can really do with it. But because it is so straightforward, it's like its own outfit in itself. But I will try and style it now and we'll see. Okay, so this is the boiler suit on. Um, again, I think that it looks nice. Like I think it's really comfortable, but yeah, I don't really know how to make this look like it's not workwear. I've added this silver belt, but this part like hanging off here is really pissing me off. So, but still I do think that it helps kind of break it up a little bit from just like all the black. Um, I've got these red boots on and then I've got my red bag and I've also clipped up my hair to kind of, I don't know, make it look a little bit more interesting. Yeah, I don't really know what else I can do with this because again, it's just like an outfit in itself. It's a two for one deal, it's pants and a top. So I don't really think you need to add much more to it. Okay, next I'm gonna talk about the three office pieces that I got. So starting off with these glasses, uh, you guys would have seen me wear these a million times now. I wear them all the time because they look hot. This really slim and like black frame sort of style is very in right now. I had someone comment on one of my last videos where I was wearing these and say that they reminded them of middle school and that they did not want to see them and I thought you know what that's totally valid but trends really are secular and they just come back around like no matter what it is and I feel like almost 2000s are like on the way out and 2010s really coming back in so trying to cling on to the 90s and 2000s aesthetic as much as I can before we end up back in our like 2014 Tumblr era which would be horrifying honestly. So I think that these look really cool, they do have a prescription in them but they're very very low so they're not very you know blurry, I'm not like straining my eyes very much. So the two pieces I'll be wearing with these glasses are two tops, one of which is this amazing Caroline Morgan top. It's kind of weird because at the top it's got this very like luxurious looking material. It's very light and dainty. It's got the puffed sleeves and everything. It's even got this uh, shimmery thread running through it, which is really cool. And then the bottom part of it is just like 
t-shirt material. It's like a stretchy cotton. So yeah, with this top, I am definitely gonna wear some like high-waisted pants with these and some heels. So this is the other top that I got. And again, it's very 90s Y2K office feel. It's got all these ruffles on it around the like sleeves and the neckline. And it's got that same shimmery thread running through it. Just it's in the silver instead of the red. And my favorite thing about this top is that the neck actually ties up so you can have like a little bow um, around your neck and I think that that is so cute. Anyway, I'm gonna style these pretty similarly, I think. That's why I wanted to talk about all of these three items at the same time, but I am gonna go ahead and style both of them. Okay, this is the outfit and how adorable is this top? Oh my God. So I've got these super wide leg, long high-waisted pants on. I've also got these red little heels on, which I think is so cute. And I've just got my little bag as well. Um, yeah, I would definitely wear this if I worked in a corporate setting and honestly because I haven't been working very much at all I feel like I'm gravitating toward the office wear and like office core aesthetics and stuff even more now because I'm kind of thinking of like you know dress for the job you want not the job you have and I just want a job so yeah I think absolutely live by those rules of dress for the job you want not the job you have are you joking are you actually kidding me this is the most perfect top I've bought fucking ever oh my god if you're a goth and you work in like the corporate setting um go find yourself a shirt like this like immediately asap this is so cute it's so flattering it's also a little bit sexy with like the peephole the way that my necklace like perfectly fits in this little gap here and the fact that i have the most perfect, like matching striped skirt this outfit feels so like aligned for my personal style right now i've also got my little kitten heels on as well which i think are so adorable and they fit so well yeah can someone like hire me to run their office or something now like i have to wear this to an actual corporate setting or i might go insane i like don't want to take this top off but i know that i have to because i have to show you guys the next piece that i got it is the most perfect simple comfortable baby doll top and it's in black satin which is so perfect for me i really love how easy this is to just like slip on and off and i don't feel the need to like cinch it at the waist because it just kind of flares out at the bottom so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and style this now so this is the outfit that i've gone with and honestly, I think that this is kind of giving the like 2000s jeans and a cute top to wear to the club kind of vibe. But hey, I'm not against that. I've made it a little bit more, you know, alternative in it just being all black. And I love the wash on these pants, even though they do fit me a bit uh, low waisted, which I really am not a fan of. Like, I don't think I can bend down in these pants. Yeah, um, just got a little cute shoulder bag. I put on my favorite belt to just kind of loosely sit on my hips. I originally just had the outfit like this. Which I think is fine, but I think that it needed a little something extra to kind of break up the two tones of black. And then I've got these red heels on as well. Yeah, I would definitely wear this out to like a little dinner with my girlfriends or something. So yeah, very cute. So we've only got a few items left and one of them is this amazing Y2K skirt. It's almost like a pencil skirt shape, but it's got this slit at the front here so then you're not like walking around like this. <laughs> and obviously what drew me to this was all of the like little stripes that are in the denim. I really, really love how it's got the light wash stripes among the dark wash denim. The one thing that I'm not a huge fan of is the orange thread that they use to sew it. I actually haven't even tried this on, so I'm really hoping that this fits. Wait, I'm looking at my viewfinder and honestly, I could wear it with this top, so I might just do that now. <laughs> okay, I did end up changing tops and I put on this like lighter silk coquette shirt that I have. I think it's really cute, but I did buy this a size too big, so it's a little bit awkward and the shoulders keep falling off. But I do think that it works with this skirt. I think that I would probably wear this skirt uh, to go thrifting or do something really casual and uh, something that requires a lot of walking. So I'm gonna go with these shoes. And then my go-to red bag as well. I don't know if I will be wearing this outfit anytime soon because I'm literally freezing right now. <laughs> the next two items I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna wear together. The first one is this Fletcher Jones wool skirt. So the brand Fletcher Jones is a vintage Australian brand. Um, I actually have another one of their skirts. Let me get that real quick. This one here is also Fletcher Jones and I really love the quality of their material because again, it's vintage, it's pure wool and they just made them better back in the day. Um, I haven't tried this on yet, so I'm a little bit worried that I'm gonna try it on and it's not gonna fit me right. So with that skirt, I'm going to pair these 
perfect patent leather Mary Janes. Do so you guys know that I have wanted some Mary Janes for ages now? I've had a ton of them saved to my Pinterest board, predominantly in red, and then also some black ones that had some more interesting details to them. But I think that a classic black Mary Jane is so perfect. Yeah, I think that they're perfect. I love them so much. And now I will put on the outfit for you guys. Okay, this is the outfit, and I think that it is so adorable. So technically, the skirt doesn't really fit me. It like only just made it to the top. If I just cover that up, then you don't see that. <laughs> it has such a classic shape to it with like the big pleats. I also feel like it's definitely giving that dark academia kind of aesthetic. Absolutely with these shoes as well. Yeah, I think this is such a cute, comfy outfit. I've got my red shoulder bag, my go-to necklace, my backless top, I've got my dark red tights on, and then the Mary Janes. Okay, we are now at our last piece and it's kind of a crazy one. So it's this vintage dress here. And when I say vintage, I'm not talking about Y2K, 2000s. Like vintage, vintage, like children's clothing from the 60s. And honestly, I don't really know what I'm going to do with this. <laughs> I just know that I have a bunch of similar dresses saved to my Pinterest board. And the way that I would style them is very much like the kinder whore aesthetic where you wear like children's clothing, but then you pair it with like something really grungy or you know, the way you do makeup is a lot more messy and makes you look more adult. But yeah, honestly, I just want to get this on and see if it fits me properly. Cause I have a feeling that it's not going to fit me right because it's literally for small children. So let's pray that I fit into this and then we'll just go from there. <laughs> okay, we got the dress on and to be fair, it's a little tight just around the neck area. <laughs> I feel like I have to keep pulling it down so that I don't like choke to death, but I don't know if there's a way that I can really fix that. I mean, the neck area has so much stuff going on with all the lace and the button. I'm gonna undo the button. It's also forcing me to stand up like really straight so that I don't choke myself more. But yeah, this was definitely made for a small child. <laughs> and the fact that I managed to fit into it is miraculous on its own. So yeah, I don't know. This is very cutesy. I'm not sure if I really like it. I think it maybe is a little bit too much. I feel like I would be happier if this lace wasn't so frilly. Um, I do like the collar and everything, but it is giving a little clownish. I also got these boots on with it. This is honestly an outfit I would wear like corpse paint with because whenever I wear something super girly and frilly, I feel like I need to balance it out a bit more. So maybe one day I'll wear this out and I'll be wearing some crazy corpse paint or goth makeup or something. But other than that, I do really like this. I think that finding any sort of true vintage from this era is like really rare. So I'm very happy that I found it and I would love to find a version of this that fits me a little bit better. Anyway, that is the last item in my haul and thus brings us to the end of the video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I actually recently hit 4,000 subscribers, which is like mind blowing to me. I can't believe that that many people really want to watch my videos and follow me on here. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.